In this video, I'm gonna show you how to replace the blower motor on this Toyota 4Runner. Let's get started. To access the blower motor, we have to pull this uh, kick panel off of here. But in order to do that, we have to release this one at the bottom first. So just take out one or two of these screws that hold it down. You don't have to remove this, but we do have to allow it to kind of uh, go up a little bit on this side. Just pry it up a little bit. This will basically release it from this one, as you can see. And then you can take this one and pull it out like that. And that will release, set that aside. Let's unplug the blower motor, press on the locking tab, just wiggle the connector off of here. they get a little stuck from being on there for so long. Then take an eight millimeter socket. There are three little screws, one here, one here, and one over there. I'm gonna start with the one in the back because it's the hardest one to get and uh, I don't wanna leave that one for last. There's one. This one next, doesn't really matter what order you do them in, but I like to do the more difficult ones first so that on the last one, when the blower motor comes down, I can easily reach the screw and hold the blower motor at the same time. Third one, nope, that's second. I need to learn how to count. Let's do the third one, which is right at the front here. Hold the blower motor. This one I guess is kind of, oh, there we go. It was a little stuck in place there from being on for so long. Pull it down and there it is. Take your new blower motor, line it up approximately the same direction as the old one. Just wiggle it around. It should just fall into place once it's lined up. Oh, there we go. That just fell in. I'm gonna use I'm going to start in this front screw first because it's the easiest one to line up. Thread it in a few turns. That'll hold the blower motor in place. Then you can start in the next easiest one to get to, which is going to be this one over here. This one's easy to get to, but difficult to see. There we go. That one started. I'm just going to tighten these a little bit more before I start that last one so that the blower motor doesn't potentially uh, fall down at all, otherwise it'll fall out of alignment. Okay, that one's snug. Might as well snug up this one while I'm at it. That's snug, and last one all the way in the back. This is the more difficult one to reach. That one's nice and snug. Now let's just connect the wiring harness. Line it up, press it up into place and make sure it clicks in. <clears throat> there we go. That's secured. Let's put the covers back on. Put this panel back in, line up line up this tab here with this one over here. It kind of slides in to the side, but also backwards. And uh, at the same time, pull this up, put it down in here. Give it a couple taps that'll situate it back in place here. Tap this back down. And now just put in the two screws that hold this piece down. Snug them up. That's one. And two. And there you have it. Now you can test out your blower motor. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.